Personally, if I had to pick between sounding or boofing, I'd probably have to- Attention, all land lovers. The Commonwealth Pirate Service, located in Boston, has issued a pirate warning for the following counties. Bunker Hill, Covenant, Nordhagen Beach, Sanctuary, Diamond City, and Good Neighbor until 9.45 p.m. At 9 p.m., Commonwealth Pirate Service Doppler radar indicated a severe pirate crew capable of plundering one mile east of Bunker Hill. Doppler radar showed this pirate crew moving southeast at zero miles per hour. In addition to plundering, this pirate crew is capable of producing bowling ball sized projectiles with destructive explosive payloads. The safest place to be during a pirate raid is in a basement. Avoid windows and come keep on, valuables come well on, hidden. Come if you see malnourished, on, salty come men, on. or hear words such as ahoy, scallywag, matey, or booty, seek shelter immediately. A pirate watch remains Damn. in effect until 11. Wait, did they just say booty? Sunday this is Joe Joman, pilfering plunderer and booty beseecher on a quest to destroy Liberty Prime and free the Commonwealth from robots. But to destroy robots, you need ammo. And to get ammo, you need money. And after pulling four heists last week and basically failing three of them, Joe didn't have much of either. But he did get a cool pirate hat, and pirates always have treasure. So, we pulled out our holy bucket of Van's wisdom to lead us to the nearest source of deep sea doubloons. Oh. Oh, I can rotate. Wow. Guys, look. <laughs> Rotating bucket. With our holy vessel in hand, we ourselves became a holy vessel for Van's divine knowledge as we followed it blindly to the pirate booty that Joe so desperately craved. No direct path seen. Great. <laughs> oh. If I had to guess where pirate plunder would be, I would say it's probably, um, right about there. <laughs> I just figured I hallucinated this thing. <laughs> nope, this looks pretty real to me, Hancock. Ah, shit. What are you looking at, Clanker? The captain requests your presence on the bridge. Kill it. He will kill you. Yeah, don't worry. They got a little robot working the gate. We'll kill him eventually. We'll go talk to the captain first. What's the name of my hat again? Captain Ironsides hat. They call me old Captain Ironsides. Due to the amount of times I've been shot in the rib cage. Oh, that was a mistake. Hancock was right. Oh, this is... The problem is deep. <laughs> the problem runs deeper than I realized. Not only was the lookout a robot, but so was every deckhand. This needs to... <laughs> this needs to be dealt with. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of them. The worst of all was the captain. Son of a bitch. Ironsides. Captain. Did I just address him as captain? Wearing a clanker hat. No, he stole my hat. I had it first. This guy wasn't even canon until like 30 seconds ago. The good news was we found the pirates. The bad news was that they were all gas huffing automatons. But this didn't necessarily contradict our goals. We came for their booty, not their friendship. But after a horrific display of power, dear lord, we realized that if we were to stand a chance against them, we needed a plan. So, in an act that pained him deeply, Joe agreed to ostensibly help them, biding his time for a chance to strike. The captain requested that Joe repair the ship, so we begrudgingly headed below deck. I don't know guys, they have some big fucking cannons. Unidentified intruder. Are you glitching right now? I spoke with your captain. Requesting permission to use lethal force. Lethal force? Try that. And you'll be nothing but scrap metal, pal. Come on, let's waste this tin soldier. Stand down! That's an order! Yeah, know your place, bot boy. I don't want to talk to another robot. I think if we're gonna survive here, we need to blend in more. At least until we figure out where the money is. Guys, hold on. I need to work something up in my body oh. here really quick before I speak with this. Hold on. Oh. I... Oh god, I can't even say it. I love... I love <laughs> working 
I love working with robots. Yeah. All right, there. We said it. And thus began the single hardest thing Joe had ever done. I... I... I'd love to help you. I'll get right on it. <laughs> Sir, what you, I'm calling an ambulance. You're clearly not well. What do you mean, guys? I'm, <laughs> I'm Joe Joman. My favorite thing to, <laughs> oh god, my favorite thing to do is to <laughs> help, r help robots. Let me, re <laughs> let me repair this for you. I would love to be of assistance. At the detriment of his health, Joe made the repairs and was instructed to buy another necessary part and meet the navigator outside. I would love to find this difficult, rare part for you, to fix your ship full of fine sailors. Joe killed any robot since we arrived. Oh, why, why would I kill robots? I... Um, sorry, hold on. I... I love these robots. Ahoy! Ahoy, Mr. Navigator. I would never kill my my dear Navigator. The Navigator wanted us to get a chip back from some nearby scavengers. Ahoy, human scavengers. Go oh, shoot. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. Oh, interesting. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were gonna get cratered for sure. I had to do terrible, terrible things, Mandy. I said things that I could never take back. I forever tarnished my good soul to get onto that ship, Mandy. You seriously want to help that idiot no, Mandy. for brains? No. Screw that robot and come work with us. I would love nothing more than to screw that robot and come work for you, Mandy. I'm Joe Joman and I fucking hate robots, okay? Guys, I was playing it cool by the robots, okay? We needed to get closer to their their plunder. I wanted their booty, their robot booty. But no, but I didn't. Finally back to his old self, Joe teamed up with the scavers and agreed to bring any sensitive rocket parts back to them for sabotage. They gave him the navigation chip, which he returned to the ship to install. Uh, let me... Now you gotta contort my face here. Nothing I like more than a nice shiny metal clanker. Clanker's offensive. Shit. I wasn't supposed to say that. I'm not used to this, okay? I'm not used to it. Are we not using the boat elevator on the back of the ship? <laughs> Do you think I know the layout of this damn clanker ship? Alright. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm unfamiliar with the <laughs> with the navigations of this vessel. Ship recovered. I'm help you out. <laughs> more than happy to <laughs> <laughs> Help! The navigator gave him a new part to recover, and we prepared to finally head out to a non-rust bucket infested part of town. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Damn, this... I... This ingenious contraption has brought me back up. Stupid fucking robots. This is a shitty piece of shit elevator. I hate this place. Who would put a bunch of clankers in charge of a pirate ship anyways? Clankers stole the greatest boat in the USA. <laughs> That's the that's the most glorious vessel in the United States, and it's been overrun by filthy sheet metal contraptions. Oh, howdy! Nice dog, but he looks lonely. Don't you think he could use a playmate? He doesn't need a playmate. Yes, yes, guys. He Miko has tons of fun without a playmate. He has he loves traveling with us. Does he really need a playmate? Ask him why. Why is he so- that's a good point. Why are you trying to get rid of this dog? Is there something wrong with it? I don't want to. Is it defective? But I love dogs and I gotta make a living somehow. So I raise them and sell them. <sighs> Fine. Oh yeah. I'll buy the stupid sure? dog. I mean she's a great dog. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want to sell her to anyone who isn't going to take good care oh, of her. Oh no I mean um good dog I, I i'll buy the really awesome cool dog that i'm gonna care for well you know what i changed my mind what I no god i can gene gene look at me gene i can be trusted with small animals gene we'll dig in and hold this position what chat couldn't understand gene's decision which was reasonable since we're so good with animals usually i'm not reloading why do you want the dog so bad he said no you have to learn when to accept no. Reload? Reload now. I'm gonna teach you guys an important lesson right now. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. 
I'm saving. No means no, chat. I'm putting my foot down. I was about to twitch some, but I don't care. This is about principles, okay? That man and his dog were not to be separated. W would you ever be willing to sell Miko to a stranger? Let me ask you that. Would you guys ever want to sell Miko to a stranger? False equivalency. How? That's not false. We need money, and we have a dog that we care about, and we could sell it to somebody and get some money. That's what he was doing. Would you want to do that? No, I know you wouldn't want to do that. And he didn't want to do it either. That's what he said. He didn't want to sell the dog. He had to, but he changed his mind. He's going to go figure out a way to get some money without selling his dear friend. And I'm happy for him for that. After delivering a valuable lesson on not compromising your morals for money, we grabbed the part and went back to serving robots for cash. We followed vans on the return, which brought us to Bunker Hill to buy that other part we needed. I'm assuming it's to this. Oh yeah, I got right up next to her. Load a little heavy hey, there. Hey, Deb. I, I do have some... He or not some. I have a heavy load. No direct path seen. Vans has forsaken you. You guys are way too, way too reliant on Vans, okay? Back in my day, you'd use a paper map and you'd have to fold it out and look for landmarks. All you damn kids these days can't get anywhere without Vans. I had to draw the, <laughs> the quest markers in pencil onto my paper map. With our two new parts, we returned to the ship. <clears throat> I'm Joe Joman. <clears throat> And I love <laughs> clankers. No, I, does, I can't say that around them. Ahoy, gentle bots. With some minor straining. <sighs> uh, it's, a, it's getting a little hard to breathe up here. It must be the altitude. We repaired the two broken components and received our next and final mission. Retrieve a key rocket component for the ship's takeoff. <laughs> of course, Captain. Another great day fucking hating robots. Those damn sons of bitches. I'm gonna kill all of them. Just as soon as I get this turbo pump, I'm gonna turbo fuck them. <laughs> I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna turbo kill them. <laughs> I'm sorry, that sounded a bit... Final phase of Joe's plan to turbo pump their pirate booty was finally in motion. Eager to get his hands on it, he hurried off to the location of the final part. Oh, shit! Oh! Ow! Killed the dog? Yeah, of course I killed the dog. It was biting me. The wasteland is- that was not Gene's dog. It hasn't been that long since you saw Gene's dog. Do you not remember what it looks like? It was not huge and green. Oh shit, it's Gene's dog! Oh wait, never mind. Vans? No, I don't want to- guys, you, you use vans to guide you when you don't know where you're going, right? It's supposed to guide you to- Joe, put your clothes back on! Hancock liked that! Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Wait. It wants me to go in the water? Okay, I guess we're swimming. Swimsuit on. I can't even use vans whenever I'm in the water. What? It just wants me to go right here? I'm sorry, what? Uh, go down? Dive down? There's nothing down here. No, Vans is off the off its fucking rocker. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, you just wanted me to take a dip? Get my hair wet? No, that's enough. That's enough. Vans has no clue what it's fucking talking about. There be something in the water. No, there's nothing in the water. What? Whoa, that was awesome! <laughs> you don't see shit, kid! Do you have vans too? Did you see it? The big guy in the water? No, that's that's the vans perk, little kid. You lie, you don't have vans. You're a liar. I'm Man. not lying! Hey, do you but, think it's dangerous? Stop talking to me like that, kid. Yeah, probably probably real dangerous. Shit! Really? It Whoa, watch dangerous. your language, Donnie! Then you'd have to kill it and leave its guts all over the docks. That would be awesome yeah listen kid death isn't awesome we all die someday your time will come asshole whoa and here i thought you were a, a fellow vans follower yeah vans is heading away from you donnie that means you've been abandoned after completing our prophetic vans trial we finally arrived at the location of the part and then he called me an asshole so i'm not having a great day right now okay oh fuck. 
I hope they don't come inside. God damn it, they even have <laughs> propaganda up on the walls. Uh, I would not like to have my ass kicked. Oh fuck, they're here! Fuck you, Clanker! Oh! Turns out Ironsight sent us to a malicious mechanism manufacturing manned by machines. Luckily, Joe had been waiting for a chance to waste some Clankers today. Oh yeah! Oh, this feels good! This is cathartic! Fuck you! I will not be intimidated by rust buckets! Keep lead! Choke on nuts and bolts, dumbass. Rust in hell. After destroying more of the enemy than Joe probably has in the eight other episodes combined, we got our hands on the rocket part. And now it's time for the fun part. You're gonna turbo pump the robots? Yes, sir. Wait, no. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna turbo pump their whole ship. Come bring the yacht out! After a short walk home. Oh shit, it's Gene's dog. We met back with the scavengers. It's time to show our true purpose. Even Vans knows that I'm coming to talk to her first. <laughs> the scavengers sabotaged the part as planned, and all that was left to do was install it. Well, before we can get to the good part, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to bear with one final bad part first. <sighs> Ahoy, companion! What a beautiful day to serve on this <laughs> this robot vessel. Greetings, comrades. With the part installed, it was finally time to- Hey, talk now. Right now, I don't know if this is the best time. Just you taking care of Bobby. I ain't proud of having to put you through that. Uh, it's not a big deal, Hancock. I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Sure. See, that's where you're wrong. Abusing power like that, it is a big deal. Well, that sort of bulls the whole reason I became mayor in the first place. Two very boring minutes later. Folks with homes yeah, could lock that's the crazy, doors. Hancock. Drifters, we got it bad. There was one night. Twenty minutes later. They cracked him open like a can of cram on the pavement. I don't know if this is the best time to be dumping our entire life story. Six hours later. Afterwards, I got so high, I blacked <gasps> out completely. Oh man. Six months later. So the night of, we all got. Oh loaded. wow, we're gonna get the whole story of the raid. Three thousand years later. Of the people, for the people. Yeah, of the people, for the people. God, do I fucking hate robots? Eat shit, clankers. <laughs> You burn in hell. Fuck you, Captain. Your whole ship's going to hell. Eat grenades, motherfuckers. The bombs are bursting in air. <laughs> Just as the founding fathers intended. Forward march, men. Give them no quarter. Oh my God, I'm out of ammo. Fuck you, lookout. You raggedy some bitch! Oh god, we're losing men fast. We're in the fucking trenches. Eat lead. Eat shit. I'll never forget you, scavenger number six. Oh fuck. Right in his robo booty. <laughs> Navigate your way to the afterlife, bitch. For the land of the free. And now we're the real Captain Ironsides. With old Ironsides dead and the clankers slain, all that was left to do was claim our long-awaited pirate booty. Guys, what are you confused about? The robo booty? All pirates, no, all pirates have booty. And these were robot pirates, so they have robot booty. I mean, did you see Ironsides? That dude has some booty for sure. Mandy. Mandy. Constitution is all. Ours. You're damn right it is. You guys did good. You're not making this easy. See, we had a vote. And we decided 
We're not going to split the hall with you. What? What is worse? I voted. What do you mean you had a vote? What? You're huh? Doing what? It gets worse. They also voted to have you dealt with permanently. What do you mean you dealt with? We're brothers later. in arms. So here's the part where you die. Huh? Hey, Mandy. Constitution is all ours. It should be mine, it should really. Be mine. I did all the work. That attitude makes us a little easier. We had a boat. Are you Where's the robot booty? We can work something out, Surely Mandy. Surely we can work something out. Sorry, pal. I really am. Those are a lot of big words for somebody who's not pulling their weapon out, Mandy. And so, in the end, we never did get our hands on that sweet, voluptuous pirate booty. But, at least we got to blow up some clankers. And that's what it's really all about.